In 1863, engineer Eugenius Birch started to construct the West Pier. By 1866, the West Pier was opened by the Mayor of Brighton, Henry Martin. At a cost of £27,000, the West Pier included two square kiosks at the entrance on the shore, two octagonal kiosks, and four smaller octagonal kiosks at the corners of the pierhead platform. The West Pier had a massive length of 1,115 feet, or 340 metres. In 1893, the pierhead was widened to include a large pavilion, built to be used first as a 1,400-seat concert hall. Later, in 1903, the pavilion was converted into a theatre with seating for 1,000 people. Visitors described their visit as walking on water. They were amazed how the water was surrounding them. The highest ever number of recorded visitors was 2,074,000 in 1919, which made the West Pier one of Britain's most iconic piers. We went on the pier and uh, you walked some considerable distance down a narrow walkway with a, a glass partition in the middle and people sitting on either side. And then it, eventually you came to the first large bulge in the pier. And uh, to begin with, there was the uh, dance hall. Never went there, that was a bit too adult for me. And now behind the dance hall was the theatre. Used to go there regularly to see the pantomime every Christmas. I saw Shakespeare there and one or two other things, the games. Now, people these days would have seen pin tables and that kind of thing, but there was an enormous variety of different games, fascinating to a youngster. But I didn't have much money, so I couldn't play on many of them. Those, you had a large pool, a diving pool, and there you had this most amazing woman. Uh, built like an Amazon, used to do diving tricks. And I can assure you, some of those tricks were certainly well up to her standard. And she had a, a loud hailer, and she used to shout, any more for the diving at the bay at the end of the pier. The West Pier may have collapsed, but the structure's roots remain for future generations to rebuild. Nobody is certain who committed the arson attacks of 2003, but there are very strong suspicions about who the culprits are. My beloved West Pier, it's still there, the splendid, in all its glory, proudly reflecting the seaside's great story. The surging water beneath it glistened as it told that story, and the whole world listened.